Hello and welcome to the Bell Hops Tabletop. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bell Hop, your cardboard concierge. Normally answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. I'd like to welcome you to my uh, my game room tonight. I'm joined tonight by my wife Deanna, otherwise known online as NG Games. Uh, we are about to play through a scenario of Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. This is going to be scenario number eight, and from this point on, I do warn you, there may well be spoilers if you don't want to know what happens in Gloomhaven Jaws of Lion scenario number eight. Uh, this is actually our second time playing this scenario. We did fail, which you can find on our YouTube channel and see what went wrong, which I think had to do with rushing ahead a little too quick last time, but we'll see if that's what it is. So I guess the question we're answering tonight is, can we beat Jaws of Lion scenario eight? So again, fair warning, we are going, we are past the tutorials, we're into the full rules of Jaws of the Lion, we have a split path. I do have to thank our viewers on Twitch, twitch.tv slash tabletopbellhop, for picking which scenario we're playing tonight. We gave them an option last week of playing scenario 7 or 8, and they picked 8, we played 8, we failed 8. I guess we could have gave you a choice again, but I think we need to, we're, we're just going to power through this one until we beat it. When we do have an option like that, though, we do like to have our viewers pick which way to go, so... That's one reason it's worth joining us live, plus you can see all of this uh, as it happens. For those of you here on Twitch, I do apologize, you're only getting one camera view tonight of us now, and we'll be doing a top-down-ish angled three-quarter view of the game board once we start playing. But those, if you um, wait for the video to come out on YouTube, though, you will get to see our smiling faces as we continue to play. So we do have a second camera set up. We just don't have the technology to have both cameras plugged in because this poor laptop over here can't quite handle it. I don't know. Do you have anything to add before we dive into it? No, not at all. Jan is quiet. Uh, uh, let's see. We're going to do it uh, level up from what we did last week because yep. you you've leveled up, which yes, makes the scenario harder. And you can watch us fail twice. Oh, wow. No confidence <laughs> at all. No confidence at all. All right. I do have to uh, thank, in part, um, we have a better lighting set up down here. We now have two cameras going. We keep trying to continue to improve our streams. We would love your feedback. You can send that to mo at tabletopbellhop.com. And I do want to have a shout out to our Patreon patrons because the improvements are in part due to them. The next step is to get another computer down here so we can get those hooked up. And you can help make that happen by going to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. Other than that, we're just going to dive into it. So here we are. We are in this area over here heading to scenario number eight, which is the hidden tumor. Uh, one of the big changes in Gloom, from Gloomhaven is this is a much darker kind of gross scenario compared to the original. A little less friend, family friendly. Not that the original was a kid's game. So we're going to start setting up hidden tumor. I do apologize for those of you here live because I am going to move the cameras around until we get everything set up. Um, thankfully, for those of you on YouTube, you can thank Sean, Dark Elf LX, our editor, for cutting that out for you. So what is our plan this time? Not get killed? Like, wait for them to come around? But they had ranged attacks, right? Well, that's that it, right? Problem. So at first I was like, we should have jump boots and jump past all this stuff. Definitely, I think we have to take them all out before we open the final well, yeah. door. There's no point in rushing ahead, even though technically for the scenario, all we have to do is take out the boss, because the whole the way the it, boss yes. functions. So, I don't know. All right, battle goals. Yours should be, what'd you do with yours? Uh, Put right them here. in front of right you. Right all right. I'm going to hold back. And make them come to us. I don't even know if I could do that. Alright, those are terrible. Alright, here are my options. That's one. That seems rather hard, but it's probably the one I'm going to take. And here's two. That seems impossible with the cards I took. Now, I could swap my cards. You know what? I'm going to take a look. What else is on that card? I haven't shown. I don't want to give anything yet. away here. Say. Oh wait, I do have that card on my deck. So yes, I do have that card in my deck because it's the bottom of Wicked Scratch. So because again, I gotta go from the bottom because that card is in my deck. Hmm. I think I am actually. 
I'm going to go with this one. If anyone in the chat thinks I should do one or the other, but I think I'm definitely going with that second one. Wow, guys. You, you ready to see mine? I always wait to see if anyone said anything, but I haven't seen a reply yet. Right. So this is the fun. If you get to join us on Twitch, you get to, you I'll get give to you help us decide. I'll give you a moment to contemplate Mo's, Mo's uh, dilemma, and then I'm going to show you what I got. All right, go ahead. All right, no peeky. I am not looking. I am reorganizing my cards. The only problem is I can't tell if I'm you get away focus. I'm going to assume you can see that. So, the one on the right on this map seems like that's just really easy so why wouldn't i yeah that seems like that's pretty simple we'll go with that one that's an easy choice make that go away tech said closer i couldn't actually see oh you couldn't them. actually see it I'll that's try what i said you gotta get them right. right up close all right one at a time this is the one i want to do you probably have to get closer than that there i can see it focus there I can't read it, but I can see. Because on this map, I think that's going to be really easy. And this is the one. You're too close there. Uh, oh, your hands aren't steady enough for the camera. You got to tip it upwards. There, there you go. go. This is the one that I think I'm going to pass on. Though it's not a terrible one. It's just the other one seems like it'd be really easy on this map. Did you guys actually get to read them now? Oh, and I should put that face down. I'm not sure tomorrow. All right, so are we going to read the intro Where again? Can I go away? Since, uh, or do we just dive in since it's the second play? But for people uh, who didn't see it, again. read the intro again. People All right, there we go. We are, we are about to start. The old docks, once the shining beacon of a burgeoning city's prosperity, but now the Merchants Guild have both their own docks on the other side of the old wall. The old docks are just a symbol of filth and apathy. There's still plenty of activity here, loading and unloading of less glamorous goods of the city, like ore hides and lots and lots and lots of pungent fish. The decline in business has left a, s a number of dock warehouses abandoned, though the stink of fish never truly leads. It's at one of these deserted buildings that you find the signs of another sinister growth. You ready your weapons and burst through the door. Takes your eyes a second to adjust, but then you see the unmistakable chaotic combination of claws, wings, and tendrils lurking behind the derelict shelves of long-forgotten goods. The demons let emit a guttural noise from their unnatural maws, and you prepare for the assault. And that's it. I double-checked to make sure that I didn't have anything in my deck. Oh, I yeah, I should double-check. Do I don't think I do. Sure don't oh, that's way at the bottom. It's a good thing I'm shuffling this. My times two was my second last card. And now I have chain armor. And I would have missed. Okay, then what are we doing? What's the plan to do this right I this time? I think we're going to hold back and let them come to us. Even though they have ranged attacks, it's going to take them a while to get up. All right, this so make them we're just going to adjust one little... Oh, Oops. camera fell over. You got the light on the wrong side, I think. I think you want it upside down the other way. Upside down the other way. So that the light's higher? Mm -hmm. Like so? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was better that I way. You bumped the camera yeah, again. Here, though. I'm going to let you do it. I pre I'm pretty sure the way I had it was the way we had it last week. Well, we got it all set up, and then we go moving everything right now. Oh, that's all terrible now. You must have bumped it back or forward, too. I can't get everything in camera again. Simple? Yeah, I'm still getting a lot of glare on this, but I'm getting it myself too, so. Yeah. I just feel like that's probably not a huge concern. Yeah. Um. This back corner seems dark, but it's dark on the map, so I don't know if that's us. Hmm. All right, I got to remember, remind me when I zoom out, when it's at the end, that we need to up the brightness on us. Oh, thanks. What the heck? I just watched the camera, the camera adjust everything. Yeah. 
Thanks, camera. Is it bad? Actually, does it, it look better? I mean, it looks good on from here, but it might be terrible. I did not do that. The camera just auto-adjusted. Yeah, if it looks better, I won't touch got it. got its own ideas. It looks brighter to me, so Sentient I think that actually tech. helped. <sighs> camera auto-options are killing us. So what do you want to do? Like move to this corner? Just yeah. stay where we are? I was thinking of moving down that way. There you go. The map looks way better. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. I'm not smart touching camera is smart. We'll leave Cam camera did its thing. Oh, uh, we'll yeah. I'm probably going to move down that way. Do we want to try to kill one of these off as quick as possible? Yeah, maybe. Like maybe I can give you a big attack, demon? but you're going to take damage to yourself. Right? But do I have to be adjacent to him for it to pull No, I need to be adjacent to you. I'm going to hit that Chaos Demon and immobilize it. Okay. Yeah, we're getting glare. More glare on these, but the map looks better. So we'll leave it. Yeah, you know, these just it tracks the bad guy's health. Which we still could switch the Gloomhaven helper. I'm tempted, but then it takes up room on the screen. Mm -hmm. We lose a bunch of screen real estate to have it up. So are we moving? If we're not moving, that's fine, I'm gonna too. I'm going to move, too. It's just then I have to move, too, to go with you. That's all. Uh, we don't have to. We just want to stand here. That's fine I with can me. hit him from here. So maybe I'll stay where I am. Okay. I'm going to okay, start here, then. What am I doing then. with my bottom half? You know? The problem is they're going to move before I go. That might mess everything up. Uh-huh. It's true. Right? And then... I'm in a starting, a legit starting spot, right? Yes. Okay. Hmm. I hate to burn that early. Slow them, they're probably gonna go before me. Okay. In which case, I might have end up having to move because he might move further away from me. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Well, I'll just make sure to go before you then. You can move wherever you want. Fair. I am all set. Alright, I'm good. Alright, I am going at 13. I'm going. That 30, is now 32. as fast as I can go. 13 is as fast as Chaos you can go. Chaos Demon's at 41. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to heal. And then the other ones are doing ranged fire attacks. Unholy flame. Which means they don't move, which is great. Except yeah. you're in range three, so you do might want to move before they go. Well, we'll see. We'll see what I do. If you can get out of range three. So I go first. Um, I am just starting off with and pretty much only doing... Gift of the Void, which is going to poison that guy within range 3. And then one ally who's adjacent can make an attack 3 range 4, targeting the poisoned creature. If you do, you suffer 2 damage. Yes, one second. I realized I had not set my hit points. Have you set right. yours? So we will get the poison. Yes, I did. Chaos Demon number f 2 is now so that poisoned. Did, I'm poisoned, right? It didn't do damage to me. No, it did 2 damage to you. It does 2 damage to me. You suffer two damage, but you're doing an attack three. Gotcha. At range attack four. Attack three, here it comes. Plus zero. That could have been better. That could have. You have the damage thing, so I need a three. Yep. But it's four because he's poisoned. And then uh, the other card, don't worry about it. It's a big card with lots of stuff going on, but I'm not using it to do anything except move two. If I even want to move, and I don't think I want to move. I don't know. Are you moving? Should I move two? 
Like, should I start edging? I can hit the guy from where I am. I'm going to immobilize the demon. And then... The thing is, I don't want to get within range 3 of this guy. So, no. You want to move down here. Because then you're not in range 3 of him. Yep. So, I'm not going to so move. So, I'm not even using that part of that card. Okay, that also infuses dark energy. Dark? Done. Done. Okay. I am going Next. to use my... So far, good start. Blinding Sickle. Closer. There you go. So that allows me to hit this guy from three away. Oh, it's attack three minus one, so that'll only hit him for two. Plus one for the poison, so I'll do three points of damage to him. And he's immobilized. See, that's all pretty good. And then I've got, I can move up to three. All attacks will be in disadvantage against me this round. I still... And I'm thinking my best bet is to get... Then you're going to get attacked by this. If you move into here, you won't get attacked. Yeah, I know. You can still hit me there. I think you're yeah, you can't make it here unless you can get up the four if you have boots or something. No, I can get to here. I had to yeah, three see, me. no, I think yeah. you're better off hiding in that corner. Yep, not getting hit. I like that answer. Okay, um, and I didn't learn anything. Uh, hey, cool dirt. Bit. Which, if I remember, is a Sean. So, I'm done. Alrighty. Which means it's Chaos Demon turn. Chaos Demons are moving a total of three. Except this one is immobilized. Mm -hmm. So he is going to go one, two, three towards us. Then it is attacking nearby enemies. There are none. Then if sun is infused, I think that's the sun symbol. Yep. They heal themselves, but there is no sun infused. So that is it for the, the chaos demons. Then we move over to the zealots. The zealots are not moving, attacking firebolts using unholy flame at range three. But we are too smart for them. And none of us are within range three. Yay, round one is done. Round one is done. I'll oh, slide this down. Yeah, we could get a hold of uh, Sean Hamilton, not Sean from Hamilton, and we ask him to join the... Shons? So we can have we can have a triplicate, um, triple threat. That, that needs there. to be shuffled. And that's it. Okay. Shuffling the cards. Okay, it says welcome to the chat room for me. I don't know if I got this. Connected there for a second? Hmm. Certainly hope not. Alright. That was my big plan. I don't know what we're doing for round two. Yeah, no, I'm done now. That's I'm it. Done. That, that was my big strategy. Um, I infused dark. Oh, That's why. Shoot. I, I screwed up, Mom. Uh oh. I screwed up bad because what? this actually infuses light, so light was infused and they would have used it. Oh, jeez. And then they healed four? Yep. Wow. And they got rid of the poison? I'm um, just... Terrible. Well, the heal would just get rid of their poison, wouldn't it? Yes, but still. Yep. When, though? Before the first attack or the second attack? No, they went at four once. So All right. It was after. Terrible. Yeah, no. I caught it now instead <laughs> of someone else pointing it out to you later in the video. Yeah. It's not good. Because um, I'm like, wait a second. I'm supposed to infuse something. Hmm. Okay, we're definitely doing that. I don't know. One, two, three, four. If I can get a move four. Or do I stun this guy? Huh. I wish I knew what they were doing. Not far enough. I wish I could move further. Okay, doing that. The problem is they're gonna go before me. Yeah. Just gonna mess things up. I can. I can get you move further. You can make me move further. Yes. Hmm. Okay, let me think about that for a second. If I go 
going to... Though I'm still tempted to not move. <laughs> I don't need to be beside, beside you, you anymore, though. for a though. second, okay? I don't want to have you move me for no reason. I need to be... Oh, I got scared up. So, okay. I am set. I'm right there. Set. And then I would have to go one, two, three. <clears throat> no, it's too far. I can give you a slight push, but then I have to go before you. Yeah, no, it's too far. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, so not really. You can get pretty far away and I can still do it. So Got the awesome one. Marilyn Dennis coffee cup tonight. We yeah, that's it. We'll start using the Star Wars coffee cups when we play Gloomhaven. That would definitely that's gonna be that's gonna save us. I need a fantasy themed one. I need like a Gloomhaven coffee mug or something. Or, you know, a D and D one or something. You go okay. get one of the D and D pint glasses. That might help. There you go. I'm good. All right. 14. Chaos demons. One. They oh. are definitely first. All right, And they're then. attacking at range, which I is terrible. I don't care for that at all. And they're at 82. They're doing the same thing. Not down here at 82. I can deal with so that. chaos demons first are moving at a what nice is... speedy four. Sorry, but what number are you at? 43. Okay. They are moving at a nice speedy four. Attacking minus one at range three. Well, they can reach us now. And then if he just moves here, he can reach. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's all they need to do. So number two is going to go first. One, two, three, or one, two, three. Who's going earlier in the ship? I'm at 14. So you are getting attacked. It is a range. The elements aren't used? No, that's right. Attack minus one. Boom. Minus two. So that's one damage. And then the second one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, same distance. So again, he's going to go for you. Ooh, plus one. So that is three. And you're muddled. I don't care for that at all. Actually, you know, we're going to move this deck so people can kind of see it over it's, here. It's terrible. That's it for them. Then it's you. I don't know, staying back's not great either. I know. <sighs> These guys aren't going to move again. So. No, they're not. It's, so if we stay where we are, but the game won't hit us. Yeah, but if I do that, I won't be able to hit the bad guy, and that's a problem. I gotta be. Not demon some more. So I I'm gonna to hit the range. demon, but I don't know. I have to be I'll within him. range two of him to hit him. Which means I have to scoot up. One, two, three. You can't get to like here or here. Oh, I could. I have, well sorry. Well then you can't hit him, right? I have a move three. I should show you all. Ta -da. What about here? And hit this one. Then you're not getting hit by him. Yeah. That's true, I could do that. It just, that's a attack Maybe plus one, away. and they do three oh, damage, know, so that's going to be a four. You're right, I could do that, and then at least I'm still hitting somebody, so three back there. Say, we're, we're being cautious this game. <laughs> Blood After last used. Game. And then I will use the flaming sickle. You got it. Oh, it was good. No, you lost it. Uh, oh, well. It's an attack Just me. holding it in place. So there you go. That's a four. Four on number three? Yes. I can't reach them. Um, I do four. Oh, I wish I you would had got pull him numbers. one, but I just no, pull him can't. into the obstacle. You can't and move into obstacles. I know. And fire is infused. Okay. You done? I learn nothing. Actually infused all the things I infused. Okay, yep. is there a particular else. one we want to kill first? I'm thinking two's closer, Take right? Number two. All right, so we are gonna turn out the lights. It's an attack two range three, but the dark is infused. So I'm gonna use the attack to add a plus one 
put a curse in their deck, and I learned something from that, because that's an emotional experience for me, and I'm going to know how to handle things better after that. That's the monster. Where's my deck? Here's my deck. Boom. Minus one. Great start. So two damage. He's no longer poisoned, so that just gives me another three. But I put a curse in their deck. I need to find a curse. That's a monster curse. Monster curse to be shuffled in. Um, then my bottom is move two. And one ally may move two. So if you want now, you could move two. I'm planning on just shuffling over here, but you could get over no, here. No, I like where I am right now. And I do get one experience point. Woohoo, one XP! Minus one. That's a terrible first draw. Alright, now I'm going to shuffle this in because the monster is about to go. Yep. They do nothing, correct? Uh, yeah, because they're not moving, and we already figured out that they can't hit us. Me neither. These, these are pretty dumb zealots. They will have to be they, they are blinded in, by uh, by their false gods, their belief in cancerous tumors. I hate shuffling such a small deck. At least if it comes up, it's not. it wasn't my fault. Last time. Should I burn a card this e early? I don't think I should. That's my only move four. <sighs> I'm eating through all my cards here. All right. can Unless I do... you're attacking a melee, I, I, I got nothing left. Fire. You're hurt a bit, right? Yes, I am. But this is kind of a. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I really don't know what I should do here. Do you want? Would you like some more darkness? Ah. Uh. Don't care? Okay. If you're going to get in me right now. I don't know. Let me move five. Five. That still doesn't get me anywhere, but it gets me around this corner. <sighs> so Jeff in the chat room is asking, besides the few mechanics that are different, is the game here indicative of the gameplay of the original big box very much so, now that we've unlocked the full rules this is pretty much a full gloomhaven experience there's just some really really minor rule tweaks things that are everything else identical the, the core game mechanics are identical in this versus the full gloomhaven there's just little things like monsters now um all summons drop loot monsters um will loot treasure chests the line of sight rules are now any part of a hex to any part of a hex if it crosses a wall you don't have line of sight so much better than the original line of sight rules. The original line of sight rules were a little more confusing. Monster focus is based on number of squares, like proximity to get to you. Which is another change. But it's, it's again, it's just a little bit quicker than the original rules. But the rest of it is all identical. I don't know. I, I could make the enemies attack themselves, but it burns you know the card. What? I'm going to scoot up two, and I can target both of those Chaos Demons. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm not, but you're not moving, moving into hand, then. In, in, and I'm in, not moving into hand. Into hand, hand to hand. I could make a, them move. I could bless you. Line of rubbish between between the two of us. Um. I could strengthen you. I don't know. I don't know what I should do here. I could use my fingers and early and pick it back up. Are you gonna infuse dark? No. No. Okay. I'm Unless like, I'll pick up that curse card again. Well, I'm thinking it, but I can't. Target both guys if I infuse dark. And well, I figured that, it where it's so you're not doing it. Both okay. Because so. I'm like, I'll get back that card again with my uh, stamina potion, and then because more curses we can get into the deck the earlier, the better, right? Yeah. Get it. Hmm. Oh, no, Dark's not infused. Why do I keep thinking Dark's infused? Okay. See, I don't have any range to this yet. That's the problem. I'm, I've well, used we them can all. start walking around over there. I just... Yeah. At this point, what? We got 369, and they have 11? 11. 11, yeah, it's close. So that's not bad. 
One of them's pretty are close you, to Where are you moving to? I'm going to scoot to that way. you going quickish? Quick. Very quick. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go slow. Um... Yeah, why not? Okay, I'm ready. Alright, I'm at 13. 72. I said slow. Uh-huh. So, how about these guys? 98. Wow. Wow, okay. So the Chaos Demons are taking the snooze. And you said... 72. So, they're going I did you. not expect that. Okay. Nope. The zealots are not attacking range, so they're just going to move up. That's not so huh. bad. Well, except these guys are going to get into range. Eventually, well, eventually, but, yes. but yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's so far, so gonna good. It's going to happen. Okay, so I'm going first, and I'm just going to use this as a basic move, too. You don't need that to yeah. focus on. So. Boop, boop. Oh, no, what we didn't do was go through what we Which brought in our decks. Yeah, yeah, we didn't. Oh, well, sorry, people. And I have swift strength. It worked. Don't which, move anymore. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Which I'm doing attack two, range two, target two on these two chaos demons. So let's start on number two. Okay, you're muddled, remember. Oh, thank you for reminding me of that. I hate it. So we take the plus zero. So how much do you do? Two? Two. Kills it. Yay. Drop some loot. Then on the other chaos demon. Still muddled. Nice. Well, I do three. Got it. There was a three here. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So he is now at seven eleven. He gets pulled one closer to me into the rubbish. It doesn't actually do no. anything, right? No. Yes. I don't. I don't infuse anything. I don't use Gosh. anything. I don't learn anything. I'm done. Okay, so now. now what? Zealots? Focus. Yeah. They are moving three. So starting with one in the back. He would head this way, right? Yeah. One, two, three. Then number... can't see the number. Four. Four. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Which will change things up for next turn. It's not Couldn't terrible. be much closer. Alright, um... Terrible. Your model's gone away. It's the end of your turn. Oh, yes, I like that. Thank you. So I am going to bless you. Glare. Bless range 2 on you, and then I am going to poison an enemy within range 2, which there isn't one now. So, huh. Oh, well, I guess I bless you. I'd like being blessed. There wouldn't have been a guy within range yeah, 2 anyways. He was range 3. And then I heal you too, because this is my turn bad. of just buffing you. Nothing else to do. Oh, you were in focus. You were in focus. I would heal me too, but I can't go above max health. Alright. If you're done, it's yeah. time for the Chaos Demons. Chaos Demons are moving at two. They're attacking in melee, so he just goes... Excellent. Or here, if you have a preference. I think no. both are closer. No, I actually expected things to move up more. Yeah. Didn't happen. Okay. Um, the Chaos Demon's deck will need to be shuffled. This side's down. So, let's see. Alrighty, what is mm. next? One, two, three away, I could get into hand to hand with that guy. Do you have any move threes left? That would be awesome, and I'll just give you an additional attack. Oh, I don't have any move threes left. <sighs> you can go slow and hope he moves in. Could. I could go slow and hope he moves in. I could go slow and hope he moves in. Do I even have slow? I have. I have. Of course, if he moves in, he's gonna hit us. Uh, and I can hit the Chaos Demon from where he is to disarm him. That's not a bad thing. Though disarm may not be that useful. I could go slow and see what happens. 
this for a semester, but that could go a little slow. I don't know. I'm not sure. Waiting to get smacked is the way to answer. Seven. Is that seven out of eleven? Unlikely yes. to kill him today, but I could disarm him and infuse darkness at the same. Time. That would be nice. So um, how quickly though? Uh, if you want me to be quick, I can. I think I'm gonna cast, curse the cultist and stun the cultist. Uh, so we shouldn't have to worry about either of these. Probably he's just gonna stay where I am then. Or I might scoot, scoot over a little bit. We'll see. Okay. So. I could go quicker, but I don't know how quick you are. Let's keep this one. Quickish. Quicker than you. Yeah, just in case. 58. 12. Oh, well. Super quick. What do you mean well, I was like, I'm quicker than your, than your quick, is what I meant by that when well, I said quicker than I'm like, I could have took a 38. That would have been way better. They're at 41. See, they go before me. That's not great. Okay, let's do this. Go before you. These guys. 82. They're very slow. Oh, they're doing the ranged attack thing again. Good. The yeah. turret keeps coming up. I'm not complaining. Right. I might not move. Yeah, I'm not either now. Yeah. All right. So, the first thing I'm going to do is the desert tonight. Did it come in? No. Nope. You are not good at holding it. There we go. Okay. I can't tell. I can tell that I got it in camera in frame, but I can't see if it's crisp or not because I can't read that from here. Need your glasses, bro. Yeah, but then I wouldn't be able to read what's in my hand. That's yeah. the problem. Okay, so uh, I can target one enemy within two hexes. Yep. So it's weird. It's not a ranged attack, but... That means you don't get disadvantage if they were not close. Yeah. And so that would be three, and he's disarmed. Oh, one more. This what is infused. Him. This is infused. You got the damage there for Yeah, me? I just need the disarm. And then I was going to scoot up, but I don't think I'm going to bother. Well, can we just remember this or something? That's what stunned. Stunned. No boys, poison. Does the game not come with this arm yeah, symbol? There we go. There we go. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm not going to move, because if I move up, the mm -hmm. cultists can hit me and I don't want them to. Do to do. Excellent plan. <sighs> Burning through cards, but yeah. So I am going to stun Chaos Demon. Oh, is it even me? No. No, no, it's Chaos Demon's turn. Nah, so He's stunning. disarmed. So he is moving three. One, two, and that's it. Right. So now that's I can't not so reach bad. him. Well, now I can't reach him. Well, my turn's wasted. Yeah. But stunning him wasn't really going to help. It was, yeah, I guess. He wouldn't have got closer. He would have stayed in range. Mm. His time wears off. Okay, and that's it. Now it's me. I honestly don't know what to now do. Now it's you. I do not. I waste two cards. Boom. What's well, that? Or I go hit the zealot, but then he's gonna retaliate. Then he gets you back. Not ideal, unless you plan on doing seven damage. Yeah. Oh well. I burn both these cards. That stinks. Then I think I'm gonna short rest because, are you? And again, unless you're moving into melee. I can only move two. I could go slow and hope that they move up. That didn't work last that time. That didn't work last time. I think. I also will take a short rest. Well, I don't have to, so. Well, I'm looking at. I have two cards left. I don't have to rest. But. <sighs> it would be better if I did. Okay. 
Okay. Now are you moving into hand to hand? Because I can give you an now extra I'm hit on gonna him. Move into hand -to -hand. See, then I'm I don't need to rest. Smack the heck out of that zone. The problem is I need you to go first. I am going to find this fast curve for the bottom part then. You don't have to, I, I could go some slow. Some move three, so okay, I'm a little bit slower, but still fast. Okay. We're gonna see how good I am at the mine. <laughs> it's probably not gonna work. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, maybe at the end, I don't know. A little bit slower? I'm a little bit slower than the fastest you. Yeah. Alright. We'll take a chance. I'm gonna use this. Hope she's not faster than that. Or hope she is faster than that. We'll see. You ready? Yeah. I'm going at 14. Oh, yeah. Okay. 26. Okay. Let's see what the bodies are. Oh, you need to shuffle that one. We didn't do this. But he... he Infused everything. Oh, infused everything. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, it didn't happen because he didn't... He just moved up and didn't hit anybody. But yeah, it does. It infuses everything. There's a man already. I forgot about that part. And then you look at that part. So it's like, he's not doing anything. He's They're all down, hands, though. And then they all go down. Ta -da. Okay, so. Oof. Not good. Not where we are. That's not good at all. Oh, it's move minus two. It's only a move one square. Wow, they're both moving burst. Interesting. And he's moving two. Okay. But I don't know if you want to get in touch uh, with him. I'm going to. Okay. I'm going at 14. And then you're at 26. Yes. And then we get the Chaos Demon and these guys. Okay, we're good. <sighs> yep. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. Could have been better. Alright. Well, I'm going to um, just use a move three. Okay. One, two, three, up into hand to hand with this guy, which infuses light. And then I'm going to use. Precision strike, and I'm going to use the fire that's available to nice. enhance it. You're burning a card. Yeah, so it's an attack four, and I get advantage. Oof. So I do four to him. I burn a card. Wow. I learn two XP. I guess that part's good. I thought it'd be nice to learn something ever. I need another one damage. On this bad guy. Yeah. And so I get my two XP. Done? Just double checking. You took my spot. I said I was going to move up three to him. Yeah, well. Damn I thought you were going to make me smack him some more. I will, but you took the spot, so I can't hit him too. Or learn anything. <sighs> anyway, are you done? Mm -hmm. Alright, I guess I'm just going to use this. I'm going to use up the black and use this as a three, but I don't get to make the attack. Wow, what the heck did the camera do that time? I use up the black. I need an XP. I okay. would have got to whack him too, but... And then I give you an attack. Three. I gain one XP. And you know, infuse black again. That's four. So four more to him. Should kill him? That kills him. I like that answer. All right. Next. You're done. Next is Chaos Demon. Well, it only moves one, but that's enough. Yeah. Then it's going to hit you at plus one. Cursed. I did shuffle that, right? I swear I shuffled that. Pretty sure I didn't you just put it, it on top. It. I swear I shuffled that. So he misses, but he pushes you two. One, two. 
or yeah, one that's, or two? Uh, I like there. I like there. That there? looks better, yes. Okay. Um, he would have used the green, I guess, to make it a burst. I don't know. He didn't need to make it a burst. He couldn't have hit both and of us. And he couldn't have hit both of us. So and it doesn't matter one way or the other. Okay. All right. Zealots. What are they doing? They're Move minus two. one. One, two, one, two. That's it. Sorry, this way so people can. That's not this. so bad. No, I need to short rest or long rest. I oh, could long so rest, but I don't have down. anything to get back. So what's that chaos demon looking like? He's at ten out of eleven. That sucker. Ugh, I lost my stun okay. card. Hmm. Stupid stun I'm wondering. Card. No, we said we should stay back. I'm like wondering if I shouldn't just jump over here. I don't know. I think we should take these out one at a time. But whatever. Yeah. One, two. That would be right there. Dark should have been infused. I thought you used it. And then I infused it. And then you infused it. I missed that part, sorry. So it would be. Because I plan on doing this. Which hopefully, in a way, I hope you don't kill this guy, but then. I don't know, if you want to jump over to get to the next bad guys and hope I finish this guy off, as long as I don't draw a blank, he's dead. I could jump. I could just jump right there. But that's what I'm saying. I'm like, but then I'm wanna... right there, and it's not close enough to hit these guys yet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They're four away at that point. And I yeah, well, I can get you even closer, but I don't know if you want to get. Hmm. I can give you a move too. So if I was too closer, I would be one, two, and that would be one, two, three. Again, you so might have to go super slow for I that to work. Hit both of them. I could hit. I could heal you if you stay here. Or actually, if you get to that coin, I can heal you on that coin too. Um, I assume you could still use a bit. I can't. It's not a big heal, but it's a little bit. Yeah, I could. I could do something. Else. So yeah, if you just there. get to the coin, I can. Heal you. I can jump to the Is, coin. And then you're not within range 3 if they do the range 3 attack. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to jump over there. Okay. Kay. And then from there I can hit the Chaos Demon if you don't kill him. Okay. The problem is speed. So you want to go first is the idea? That doesn't here? matter actually. I can, I can both. Okay. So I'm going to move over there. The only problem is you won't know if I kill the Chaos Demon. That's the only reason you might want to go slow. Well, I'm not going to I'm going to swing at him either way. It's either going to be a swing and a miss or uh, You know, I should try to get my battle gold on. Mm. Can I do that? No, I would have to start adjacent to him to be able to Would do you it. rather I immobilize or disarm that chaos demon? I'm thinking disarm is probably better. I could, I could infuse dark. Infusing dark's good, especially if you go after me. Because I'm going to use it up. And I would love it to be there next turn. So, how does that work? If I were to do an attack... But the guy's not there, and I have no one to attack. Would it still infuse no, the stuff? No, because you didn't attack. Right, exactly. You have to do part of the ability. So Same with you, you can't attack him, the air to get XP. I'm not infusing. I'm not infusing anything. Yeah. Well, the other guys might move up too. Don't forget. That's true. Okay. The other cultists. All right. I'm at. F you ready? I just do. I want to go slow. Well, I don't know. Uh, then the cultists... Going slow, you'll know if they've moved up. Right? I'm hoping to be faster than this, but it's not guaranteed, because mm -hmm. there's a 1 in there. Alright, I'm going to go at 90. Alright, 49. This is the important one. 20. Damn it. That's going to mess up everything. He's hitting both of us, too. Or can he? 19? Wow. They're all before us. Messing with everything. Move plus one with a jump? Yeah, that's going to be a four. Good thing we got all these walls here. Mm -hmm. Well, he's going to focus on you. You're the closest. 
So one, two, three. He can't curse you, thankfully. Mm -hmm. But he infuses wind. And then one, two, three, four. There's your spot. Oh. Turkey. All right. <sighs> thankfully, they don't curse us. And then this one's move plus zero, but their move is now three. There is no way it can hit both of us, right? So it's going to move to hit me. Where do we want this between us? I, of course, went for a ranged attack. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It, oh, as long they as have we... shield too, the wind and the wind. Oh, that's terrible. So I probably won't kill this. Mm. So I don't know, do you want to hear next to me or between us? It's, it doesn't matter. I'm doing for next that turn. one that's within two squares. Oh, for next turn. Because right? you're, you're saying he's still going to be alive yes. next turn. I guess I would like him adjacent to me then. That's what I was trying to confirm. <sighs> Alright, so he's going to attack me. It's an attack mine. Oh, it's a ranged attack. Sorry. It's range two. He's not moving. One, two. One, two, one, two. No, he has to move one. Yeah. Or here. Where do we want him? Here, I think. Okay. That's actually better. Alright, attack minus one. Ouch. So that's a three. I am going to use my shield. Well, you know what? I can use studded leather. I'll use my studded leather. I probably should have declared that before. I won't cheat. So I take two. Um, and then they use the wind. And it has shield too. So use up the wind. Alright, I am going to attack it. With <laughs> this horrible. Turn out the lights. Attack two, range three. Dark is infused. So it's going to be tame in attack three. And I curse him and get an XP. Attack three. <laughs> minus both my minus ones. You're using the dark, right? So I only did two damage and it's shield two, so it didn't kill it. Like I could have drawn anything but that and it would have worked. Yes, I used the dark to do that. You said dark is infused, but I, I realized you meant and you're using Dang dark. So uh, anything else. If I had drawn anything but a minus one, it's dead. Because of the way this played out, I could swap it over my to not with done. My... Okay, sorry. Let me finish. Thought you were done. Um. Swing and a miss. I don't know. Do I heal me or you? Probably me now. Because I just took two. I'm at five. Yeah. yeah. Alright. So then I use Gift of the Void. Ah, heal two. Okay, come on. That really should be a focus. There we go. Range three. I don't need the range three. But I could actually use the healing. Especially with this guy still sitting lingering. <sighs> How did that miss? Sorry, that was just frustrating. See what I can't see? And I'm muddled. Shoot. Either way. I would have drawn two. Right? Because the demon just hit me. Would have been the same thing. And then I'm no longer muddled, muddled after my turn. Yeah. I'm miss I almost missed the muddled ability. <sighs> Who's next? It's me. See... I can disarm one guy and infuse dark, which is what I was going to do, mm -hmm. or I could attack two of them. Well, I don't know. Attacking two of them would be better. But dark won't be infused. Yeah, this is why you get an opinion. It's not that big a deal. All right. The only thing I can use dark for is to be able to move and attack in the same turn. Right. Or move really far at this point. Okay. Well, then I will use... I will use Swift Strike. You had it. I will give up in a moment. Nope. There you go. There we go. Which allows me to attack too. So, if I attack this guy, it's going to pull him forward, and I don't think you want him next to you. I so... don't know. I wouldn't mind him next to me. You don't mind him next to you? Then I'll Wait, target him. because yeah, I don't mind him next you know, to you. Maybe I'll finish him off. Alright, so, on the Chaos Demon, attack two. It's a three, so He's that dead. means one gets through his shield, He's and he dead. dies. I was hoping to actually kill him next turn. And then, of these two, I think I will target the Elite. Yeah, the Elite's deadly. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I will hit him for two. Yeah, these are all done. Actually, all the Chaos Demons are gone. Is number two. We're going to get rid of that card. Boom. 
You can get rid of that. And these two. I can get rid of this. Clean enough. Alright, so I hit him. Uh, and then I would pull him one towards me, which is the debris, which oh. does nothing. It's and definitely then, going better than last time. I could move. I'm going to just use this as a basic move. Yeah, I'm just going to use a basic move, so it really doesn't matter when you're back here, guys. I'm going to go one, two, oh. and land on there, and then at the end of my turn I will collect, collect the monies. Okay. Do you want, I can pick that card back up and do the poison hit him thing, but I don't know if it's worth it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking. What am I gonna do for him? Oh boy. I think I can. I almost wonder if I'm not better off just running in the hand to hand with this guy at this point. But I still have to get pretty far to do that. You need a three. Two, three. Well, ideally a four. Well, again, I might be able to push you, but... I can do a move three. I like that one. I could do three, but I would need one more. Because if I was there, I could hit both of them. Okay, then I can't give you attacks. So you'll be too far away. That's fine. Um, I can I do something I else. Have like you taken five time. damage? Is it worth poisoning you? Taken four. Hmm. It's probably not worth poisoning you then. <laughs> yeah, if I can scoot up, then I can hit both of them, but I would have to go after you. Well, I can't push you if you get that far away either. Ah, uh, let's see. Do you push me on your turn? Yes. So if you went first, it would work. Yeah. I can't go very fast. Well, though. I'm not going very fast anyways. Yeah, but it's probably faster than me. <gasps> I wonder if I should burn a card. Oh, except I love the bottom of this card, but I get two XP. Hmm. I get XP every time I use the bottom, though. Man, I don't know. I can't decide. I really can't decide. Well, this is going much better than last week. Huh. Did I u I use that poison card? Well, if I could, I can't get close enough to give you the free attack. Hmm. I can't decide what we should be doing here. All right, you want to get into hand to hand, so I have to do that. I do. I would really like you to do move. Do you want me to go really quick, just to? If you go before me, that'd be great. I'm going twice as slow as. <laughs> When I'm fast, I don't know. I'm right, going slowish. Let's do this. I hate giving them blesses, but we're gonna do it. I go at 13. That's. I'm going at 32. 65. That works. Ooh, attack plus one. They're after us. That's you still want to move in? <laughs> That's gonna give them fours. Oh, good gravy. <laughs> Moving next to both of them might not be a good choice. Well, place. they'll have disadvantage on me. Yeah. No, they won't. They will, because of this card oh, okay. that move three and all attacks turn me against. Well, I'm about to give them a bless, so that won't help hard either. Alright, we'll start with move two. One ally within range two may move two. So I move two, and then you can move two. And then we're going to use a new ability. This is my new level two card. Haunting Faith. It heals you six. And I shuffle one bless card into the enemy's deck. And I learned from that because, you know, making the enemies tougher just makes us learn more. Right. But I hate giving them a bless. I have given them a couple curses, but one of those came out already. Yeah. I know you said you were going to give them a bless, but I, I thought you were misspeaking and meant no, a curse. No, no, no. The other not bless. 
That's You're definitely doing it a the blast. Wrong way. I know, but I gave you six health. Yeah, yeah. Which I know you only needed four of, but yeah, no, it's good. It seemed the most. Where did I put my deck? Mm. I'm way over here. What did I do that for? Is that all your action? Yeah, that was it. That's two. All right. So. I just don't know how smart this move is. There you go. So I get to move and they get disadvantage until the end of the round. So I'm going to just scoot up here where I'm next to both of them. And they will have disadvantage until the end of the At round. At this rate, I am not completing my perk for those who are falling along. Yeah. So I'm going to do this attack two targeting all adjacent enemies. So Hold on. I infused some. Oh, excellent. Oh, I'm... never mind. During your turn. Damn it. That's terrible. Oh, well. Oh, well. So during your turn. Yep. If I had realized ahead of time, if you told me that I wanted sun, you wanted was, sun, I could yes, have done it. It could have been because plus one on both would have been nice. I know that would have been lovely. Okay, well, I'm targeting on your the... deck. Doesn't need to be shuffled. Like, look at all those Not cards. Yet. I... I'll double check. Oh okay. boy, nothing here. And you're not muddled or anything. I'm okay. not muddled or anything. And so on the elite first. Okay. That's a three. What number is he? Two. Okay, he's already taken some. So he's now at five of seven. And then... Which wouldn't have killed him with one swan or else I'd be more frustrated. Isn't the elite? Yeah, eleven. Sorry. Yeah. And then, on the other fellow... There you go. Four. Oh. Times two on, on a two isn't that exciting, but... And what number is he? Four? You got it? Four on four. I learned something. Which is good. I like to learn things. So they're about to put the beat down on you. They are about to put the beat down on me. I haven't... My, um, they do have disadvantage, and I haven't used any of my shields or anything yet. Alright, so. so the elite first, plus one or minus two, okay. but it's plus one, so it's still four. Right? Four minus, no, it's two. Two and you're wounded. Alright, so, well, I will use my chain armor to gain shield one for the rest of the round. Okay. And then. Use the shield too. Right? I can also one, use one. the shield for another one, so that's two off. Huh. So, so no damage, but you're still wounded. And then the other one's gonna hit you for plus zero or minus one, so that is three. But no wounding, but you're. But the shield's at the end of my turn, yeah. so it's hitting me for two. There you go. That could have been worse. Could have been worse. I don't think that was too bad. The disadvantage did help. I don't even know what muddled means in reference to a cocktail. Do you? Oh, um, yeah. You, have... you muddle it. It's bartender thing. Is it? Yeah, I don't know the term. So, I have to shuffle my deck. Now. Nothing's infused, eh? Nothing. Nothing. Tra -la -la. Okay, I'm gonna have you hit one of these. I well, just have to I'm fear how I'm getting deck. there. I have no clue what I'm doing other than shuffling this deck. Hopefully doing something that hits them with the uh, in-person, up-close, big smacks. What do we got? That's ranged. I don't want that. Yeah, we're doing that. <sighs> hmm. And that. Smush it with a stick. There you go. I don't know. I drink beer. I don't drink mixed drinks. Mixed drinks are evil. Um, so, three, four, five. Hmm. Okay. Gee, I, I do wish that sunlight was infused. Well, it depends on our turn order. Yeah, I'm probably too fast to have any such wishes. So, uh, it doesn't matter, then let's see what else I can do. Hmm. I wonder. I could make them all suffer two damage, but that's it, that's all I do. That doesn't kill anything. Four, five, six. 
And then that one's at 567 logical rhythm, so that doesn't kill anybody. So I don't know, that's four damage total. It might be worth it. Right? I need to heal you, don't I? Or else you're just going to keep bleeding. Mm -hmm. I think giving you an attack's more important right now. I don't I think know. I might do that. I might do that. What do you think's better, healing you or giving you an attack? It will probably kill one of them. Probably killing one of them. I will take overall less damage. That's what I'm, I'm thinking, just going right? to do two things that are going to hit all the adjacent dudes. Alright. That's what I've decided on. Okay. And it doesn't matter. I don't need sunlight. 36. 12. Fifty. Okay. Twelve first. Twelve first. All right. So, um, I'm gonna do this barbaric instincts. Is that in focus? Nope. There you go. Which will give me shield. So I get shield one. Um, I pull them to me. Nope. All adjacent enemies suffer one damage. Fires infused. Need to one damages. My pile is gone. This guy. And this guy. Right here, what we'll do is we'll swap that for a three. And then oh, geez, I only suffer one damage. And it's a loot one that I get to pick up. Even though he's standing on it. Did you need me to hand you? We need a three. Okay. There's a three. And sunlight is also infused. Hmm. That's it. I got monies, they suffer damage. I have shield until the end of the turn. Oh, excuse me. And I'm thinking I might use my stamina potion right now, just one second. Because I have this left a lot. I'll use my stamina potion and I will take that card back. Now I'm done. Okay, one, two, three. That is just the bottom of this. Well, three. And then the top is Wicked Scratch, which you see me use this card all the time. D gets an attack three, and it infuses. Oh, I think I should finish off the elite. elite yeah. You didn't take your one damage on your turn. Shoot, you're right. Thank you. I am wounded. <sighs> okay. So it did two, right? No. Yes. I need you three. Wanted three. Okay. Just. Should have finished off the other one. You only had one health left. Now you're taking two hits. You agreed with me when I said the elite. All right, the elite's about to wound you again. So the elites are not moving. Oh, there you go. Six damage. D. Might want to toss a card. I'm wounded. I have shield, so it's five damage. You still have shield. Yeah, I have shield to oh, the end okay. of my turn from this card that yeah. I just used, Barbaric Instincts. Still might want to toss five a card. Damage. Do I want to take five damage or do I want to toss this card? Ugh. Take five damage I can heal you again. I'm going to take the five. Though. I can heal you to six now, remember? Mm -hmm. It gives him a bless, but that's what yep. just hit you. Yep, I'm good. Alright, next one. There you go, that's a little better. Two. Minus Two your shield, minus so shield, one. Shield, so one. Okay, yeah. I can deal with that. Except it's not my, this is during your turn, so I can't get that card back before next round. Unfortunately. That's it for them. It's next round. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna leave this, leave the smack down on them. Okay, I am gonna use the stamina <sighs> potion. Sides down. Oh, Blacksmith 
confused. Not that it matters for what I'm drawing. Okay, I'm gonna I'm going to attack them both and then attack some more, and hopefully that goes well. I'm gonna use that lovely shiny sunlight right there. Okay, I'm going at twenty six. I'm going at thirteen. I was actually trying to go before you. Oh, great, they're targeting both of us. Well, hopefully they'll be dead. <sighs> I'm trying to complete my battle goal. <laughs> so if you kill the elite first, because I kind of want to kill the other one. If Though if you kill both, you kill both. I'll do what I can. Okay, I so... really want to finish off the other one. Yeah. And I have sunshine to use. Nice. So attack three on both. You're probably going to kill on them both. both. So the elite? On the elite. So he takes three? Yep. He's dead. On the non-elite. Ah, damn it. I was going to try to kill and do my combo there. And then I was going to attack, but I guess instead I will just use this as a basic move so I can start heading oh, down to uh, some good stuff down there. Okay then. Shit, I'm still wounded. On my turn, I take. We are now explicit. On my turn, I remember to take my wound. All right. Well, I'm gonna spend the dark just to be cheaty and get an XP. I don't need to attack anything, but if I spend the dark, I get to move one less. One, two, three. And my top half is wasted. Because there's no one to attack. Almost got to do that. Alright, I was planning on long resting because I wanted to get my shield back. I'm all out of so cards, we long I rest. My stuff back and that would and I could give me the heal me. too. Yeah. So we both long rest. So I'm going to take this wound off. I think I might give up on getting that battle goal. I definitely want that. I definitely want that. I want that. Oh, I don't want to lose any of these cards. I know. Life is tough. I really don't want to. Because you can poison the thing, right? Yeah, yeah, we did it last time, so I hope so. So I want that. I want that. Oh, man. Oh, wait, I have more cards. There we go. Yeah, we're going to ditch this. There we go. I'm like... Can you wound it? Yep, that one's important, because it'll take damage every turn. How quick can we get to this door? Jeez. One, two, three... I mean, I have a move six, but it's a burn card, and I don't think I want to do that. Right? And then I'd be way the heck ahead of you. Well, no, I could actually do five if I infuse dark, which uses up my free infusion, but it might be worth it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, if we get to there, but I'm burning a card. I don't know if that's worth it. Otherwise, I'm just moving three or four. I can move four. Otherwise, I am moving three at the most. And I don't have any moves at the top, so yeah, move three. Move three. Okay, I'll heal you too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm actually getting rid of the card. Okay. I just, um, okay, I'll go super quick, because I'll heal you first. So don't go any quicker than as fast as I can go. Okay, I won't go any quicker than as fast as you can go, and I won't use both of those in the same turn, so... So much better than last week. Do I use the six and run up there? Yes or no? Do you care? It's up to you. I don't know if you want to burn a card or not. We gotta decide what we're doing on the main fight here. Are we gonna try to um kill off the cultists or no? Or just run in and beat on and the just boss. beat on the thing. I think right and ignore them. 
If you have any shield cards, make sure to save them for once you're in that room. Because every time they hit you, they heal the thing. Right, but okay. you threw away your shield card? That's terrible. Um, that one of them. Choice. I have another shield right here. <laughs> I have another shield here. It's just All kind right. of my thing. I've got shields. Um. Ugh, I don't know. We're just moving. This should be that well, hard a it decision. Is. It's to decide whether we're going to go fast or slow. You said you have a five, and I can I'm have not a using my five. I okay. told you that. I'll just do the three. And I'll do it with whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. And I'm going at 3d2. Okay. So the first thing I do is I heal you six. I like that. Thank you. But I'm going to put a bless in the opponent's deck, which kind of sucks because the deck's kind of small right now. It's not great. But it is what it is. Okay. And then I move four. One, two, three, four. Nothing's infused anymore. Nothing's so I'm, infused. Nothing's infused. I'm just using this move three. It doesn't matter what else I'm doing. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm using a move three. <laughs> Gets us closer. And then I gotta decide what card I don't want. I think, um, do you want a bonus to move? Like, do we want to get the door open? I don't think we do. I uh, think I we want to be able to move in and yeah, hit at the same time. Yeah, I don't think time. I want to open But it'd get you closer. I don't know. Yeah, maybe But then I only move two. Time. So I'm going to move three, and I'm going to... Do you still have... Are you still hurt? Um, yeah. Okay, I'll heal you two then. Okay. Just don't get two more than two away from me, or go really slow. So I can heal you first. Alright, well, so I'm at 38. Alright, 36, so it works. Good. I heal you too. I'd also heal myself too, but I'm already. I like being healed. Hey, yeah, getting their full health is nice. Right. And then I have a move three. I have this other move One, three. Let that me I'm finish. Using. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. I just have this other move three that I'm using. So, one, two, three. Okay, now, are we rushing in or am I I'm moving two next to the door and then we're going to long rest again? Because <laughs> I'm running out of cards already. Right. I mean, I could just scoot up one. Like, I was thinking I could move two. Well, if you only scoot up one, you need to move two, and I can move two. And then we'd both be flanking the door. You move two, I move two. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Do you need healing anymore? Yep. Still? Mm hmm. Oh, shit. Well, the only one I have left that I can do is the five. No, well, you know I what I should have did? Bad. Is I should have did the poison heal you. And then the other one that gets us a plus. Oh well. Okay. Um. Yeah. So unless I'm, I'm we rush in, like that's the other alternative. We both take a short rest. Or I rush up and get you through the door, because I can give you a move two to get you in the door. Right. So, like, if I move two, I would be there, and I would have to have a ranged attack. Which I do have a ranged attack. So. Like we can short rest too, right? I could move up and I could. If you want to start the thing smacking that I on know it, is going to appear. you're not going to be in melee, though. No. I don't have shield on, and I have a ranged attack. You're going to be in the door? Would, I will be standing in the door, yeah. Would you want to move through after that? Um. This thing never attacks. Yes, it does. Oh, it does sometimes, that's right. The mobile is no good, but I no. could disarm it. Which would infuse darkness if you care. It can't be disarmed, so. Well, it can't be disarmed. Then I guess I'll. Infusing do darkness does. isn't bad. I'll just. Well, I can do an attack three and not infuse darkness. It's probably the better answer. All right, because I could. I'm probably going to infuse the darkness myself. Okay. Um. Oh okay. yeah. I'm set. All right. The timing's going to suck. That's does it matter if I go first or second? Well, it's going to matter because the bad guys are all going to go. So your number matters. A lot. Well, I'm going to run up and hit them. But then they're all going to go. Yeah. But do you want to go before or after? That's all I was trying to figure out. It doesn't out. matter. Okay. I'm probably going after you no matter what, because my cards are slower. 43. All right, I'm at 16.
You glance at the blood trail leading through the door. You know what lies on the other side. Another malevolent tumor pulsating and dripping with a foul dark energy. You ready yourself for the fight ahead and push forward. The blood tumor starts with 2 times 2, 4 damage. Any time any figure other than the blood tumor suffers damage, it heals that amount. If it's ever at its maximum hit point value, the scenario is lost. It starts with 4 damage. Don't. So if it heals this turn, we could lose. Mm. You gotta put the other enemies over. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I just... It's good like that. We don't need anybody else. Uh, you can use these, I guess. Anyway. I just hate that they're the same number. They're right next to each other. And the tumor is going at 54. See, it attacks. It's going to hit both of us, unfortunately. But it's not healing. Yeah. Which is good. And, and I couldn't disarm it anyway. So the cultists are going at 82 doing the range 3 thing. Oh, phew. Which still you can move out of the room. The door. Yeah. I had to actually move up. Oh well, yes. Yeah. So on my turn. Sorry, right, you can move out of the door on my turn. And I move two. This will work. Which also gives me shield one, because I'm using the swift yep. strength. Boss and fight. Then. Well, come on, camera. Hey, you screwed the camera totally. Blinding sickle on the boss. So, and attack three, plus one, so I hit him for four. He's immobilized. That doesn't matter. Nobody care about that. Sunshine's infused. Okay. I have shield to the end of the round. That is it. That's all I okay. got. See, this isn't bad at all. We start off with a black moon. I move two, and then you can move two. So, so you I'm could step back one. Get out of that doorway. Um, on my turn at any time, I'm going to use my mana potion to infuse dark. Infuse dark. So mm -hmm. I'm about to use it. And then we're going to turn out the lights on the boss. Attack two, range three. Makes it an attack three, and it's going to curse and get me an XP. Attack three, minus one. I have drawn three minus ones. Jeez. Two damage to the boss. Just, you gave me a move, too, so yes. I could be back one for you. If you really want to, but you don't want me up front, do you? Well, he's going to target... Isn't he going to target both, both of, us. of us? Yes, he's still going to target both of us. Oh, right. oh, yeah, I guess you could step I'm out. back one. Yeah, all right. He's hitting both of us either way. That fine. way I don't get hit. That's fine. Um, an XP. Okay, this disc sucks. I have no idea if my XP is accurate. Mm. And then I put a curse in their deck. So much better than glasses. Yes, I know. Who's next? Next is the Zealots. The Zealots are attacking range 3. They can't hit either of us. Then it's the boss. Mm -hmm. It's attacking me at minus 1. Uh, its damage is only 2, so it's only doing 1. I will use my shield. That and wasn't so bad, him, so, he doesn't so it doesn't heal. heal. Alright, good first short, round. I have to take a short rest. Good first round. Can we keep it up? Can we keep it up? Cue boss fight music. Which I could do, actually. Um, I only have two cards left. Are you moving into hand-to-hand? -hand? Oh, I hate getting rid of that card. That goes in one of my shields. <sighs> Am I moving into hand-to-hand? -hand? Um, I... No, I'm going to keep both these cards. Oh, yeah. except blacks and One, two, three, look right there. Fudge. Whatever I do, the cultists are gonna be able to hit me. Which is terrible. Is black infused or did I use it? It's infused, I'm pretty sure. How? 
Because I used it. You used it? Yes. Right. But, like, it's not, wasn't used afterwards, right? No. Okay. I don't, did I screw up? Are you going to move in so you're within range three of the heart? Because I'll do that thing where you can take two damage to whack it for a big bonus. Yeah, that might be worth it. I'm thinking of moving right into hand to hand. It's going to poison it, which is going to make us do additional damage to it every round. Um, do you need a heal six yet? Not yet. Okay, because it blesses them, so right. I don't really so want let's to. Let's not do that. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to move three disadvantage. Three. You've taken at least two damage? Yep. Alright, yeah, this. You're going to be in hand to hand, though, right? Yep. Alright, that's even better. I'm going to give you another attack. I am very slow. And I am. Which hopefully the zealots don't mess cast. this up. So, yeah, I'm good. I'm going to go at 14. Okay, 68. Okay, 11, he's going to heal. At 11, and they're coming into to melee, heal. which stinks. Oh, they're not going to reach. I'm going to move two. You're at 68. Oh, uh, they're going to reach so you. Before you. They're going to reach you. Well, you can make it's only one of them can reach you. You can make you. it's only one can reach you. No, don't do that. No? No. Okay. I want both of them to reach Well, no, me. you want to be within range three of me. Alright, well, I'm going to Or gonna you don't get here. an attack. That's where I'm going. Damn it. See, they need to be slower. There's nothing I can do. Alright, well, first off. I won't be able, yeah. Oh, the boss goes first. He heals. Alright, special two is heal three, target all allies. Thankfully, the zealots aren't actually healed. Okay. Okay. Then. Alright, everything has disadvantage, at least that's yeah. something. So I go one, two, three. Yep. Everyone's got disadvantage on me. And now, I'm going to. You gonna mobilize it. Yeah, well, I'm going to use up the light to grab myself a shield as well. That's so good. it's an attack three plus one, I think, for four. Good. I'm, and I have shield. And I, right. I learned something I learned about shields and that they're useful. They're about to get beat down. Yeah, I've got shield, and they've got disadvantage, and that's as good as I can make it. Alright, which number is it first? Number two. This guy here. So he moves. Number four. Okay, so he moves two. And then attacks at four. At three. Okay. And a shield. And a shield. So two. So I can... Uh, yeah, because you're going to hit by both, so right. do that. So then just take one. Yep. Yeah. Using up. my chain armor so that I have shield one for the rest of the game. Yeah, and then the zealot moves up, the other one. Yep. Yeah. And attacks with disadvantage. Oof. It's a good thing. Five, which is better than six. Okay, five minus one is four. Minus one is three. Minus my shield will bring it down to two. Nice. So I use up my heater shield as well. Alright, and then I'm next. Oh shit, how much damage did you take? Oh. Well, you just took it. How much I did it take? Uh, One and two, so three? Yeah, three total. Okay. Yeah. I heal you too. Excellent. And then you can attack. And attack three. Well, you know who I'm hitting. Oh, see, this tile is terrible. Plus two. Eight and eight. So, nice. So I hit him for five. Nice. Three. Four, five. Okay. It's half done. And fuse is blocked. Black is infused. Alright, next round. No shuffling. Things that target all adjacent enemies would be bad. Yeah. Because of, oh, you're a sucker. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Okay. Hmm. I can. Got some cheese, so we're gonna do this. And that's what I want on the bottom. Yeah. Maybe they'll attack me, like, I don't know. I can push them away from you, but I'm very slow. Yeah. Yeah, I can make two hits on the boss. That's that's all I got. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm gonna attack the boss and curse them anything. again. Like I'm just gonna keep that up and I'm gonna push the enemies away from you, hopefully. Alright, 49. Alright, 13. 85. It's more what these guys are doing that I really care. No, don't hit both of us. You were at 39? Uh, yeah. 49. 49. Shit, and after them. You're after them. God damn it. Pushing them on each would have worked. <sighs> Couldn't go any quicker. All right. Hmm. Well, here's a question. I could hit one of them instead and disarm them. But if you damage them, you're going to heal the thing. I know. But they're going to target both of us. <laughs> Six of one, half dozen of the other. Mom, you do, like, no damage. Great. Yeah. All right, now I'll just do what I was gonna do with the main guy. It just if I had just gone before them, it would have worked. I know. All right, so I'm doing the bottom part. So it's an attack two on the ugly boss. Plus one makes it a three. Now, I'm doing the top bit, attack two, he's not going to get disarmed, this stuff will be infused, and I hit him for one. Great. See, that should have been on so Yep. Oh yeah. Next is the zealots. Yeah. They're gonna muddle us too. Yeah, but... I still think disarming one of them might have been better. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. So it's gonna target both of us. This so, one I'm out of range of, thankfully, but that one first. hit both. So number four on you. Yeah. Disadvantage because it's a ranged attack. Okay. Good thing. Get that out of there. So zero, and it's attack minus one, so it's only two. Okay. And you're muddled. Then on me, it's not disadvantage. So I will actually use my studded leather to give it disadvantage. Nice. Missed. Then this one on you, disadvantage. Minus one, minus one is one damage. Total of three. So it heals a total of three. Total you took was three? Yeah. Okay. That could have been way worse. Oh, yeah. And I'm now muddled. I need a muddle, please. Are you muddled even though we missed? Yeah. I thought because he got an actual miss, it didn't matter. Doesn't like... matter, that's no damage. Gotcha. But we got rid of a curse. Yeah. Or a bless. Yep. Oh, I haven't gone. I shouldn't have shuffled this yet. Nope. Not we that gotta I finish think it around here. Alright, I am attacking two range three on the boss. I'm using up the black. And throw in another curse in there. And of course DNA and XP. Just nothing else. I'm learning a lot this time. So that's a curse going in the deck. And I am attack what was my attack? Three. Hey, at least it's a plus zero that time. So three damage. We need to get the poison on this stupid thing. Why didn't that happen? You didn't poison them? Were you supposed to? Oh, I gave you the melee attack. I used it on top. Oh well, it's fine. I was going to poison him and give you the free attack on whatever I just poisoned, but yeah. I missed it. You um, 
Sorry, go on. All enemies within range 3 move 1 and I control it. So I'm just thinking here and here. Hope they don't kneel it. Okay. And I think I can move him. I don't know. Like it has move hat slash. I don't know if I can move it. I really don't. <laughs> it never moves, but you could move it. I don't, I don't see know. why not. It's not an object. Do we want to move it back? I don't think so. I don't think it actually helps. I think it's fine where it is. Question is, do I want to use my last two cards or do I want to take a short rest? I don't know. Well, at least we have nothing to throw away, right? I'm taking a risk. Yeah, that's actually a big risk at this point. You might want a short rest. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Or long rest. You long get your, rest? Well, you get your chain mail and your shield back. Yeah, but I don't do anything for the whole round. And, and if, when they hit me, they do the healing. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, short rest. Alright, I'm going to vote to wreak havoc on the main baguette. As quick as possible. Hopefully we'll finish this off. Sweet. Oh, I gotta shuffle this. You don't have any way to. You use the thing that. Yeah, was, I used it yeah. too. Okay. So it's gonna be like. Sure oh shoot! Like I'm muddled. Fire would be great. There, I would have had two plus zeros. My muddled oh, goes away. Can I make fire? Any more? I can't. Ugh, so sad. I used to know how to make fire. So far, so good. If I had fire, I could wound that. Sucker. Oh, don't worry, he'll be wounded. He will be wounded and poisoned. Right. And cursed and I stunned. I like that answer. You do that. So, then I will just do things. The problem we gotta worry the about thing, is okay. the. This one's the cultists. The cults is wacky on us, is all I'm worried about. Yeah. Them getting big hits and healing him way too much. It's true. That is my concern at this point. Um, I could do that. You can't. Nope. You can't use it the same round you infuse it. No. Not without the mana potion that you do that, because you can infuse it at any time during your turn. How many more team points do we have to hit him for? A lot. Eight. Okay. All right, fourteen. Thirteen. Squeaking in right under me. All right, eighty-five. He's just gonna heal himself three. That's not terrible. That is because we're gonna move in. I was really hoping they weren't gonna move in. All right, let's get in here. This is just I'm burning this. It was a thirteen to go quick, and it's movement. And then we are gonna use Grasp of Doom, my biggest card. Every status effect in the game almost. Attack 2, Poison, Wound, Curse, Stun, Infused, Ice, and Dark gets me 2 XP, but I burned the card. The Attack 2 is a... Oh, it is Extra Stun, Cursed. Oh, that's better. That's another Curse. That's another plus 1. So I did 3 damage to him. This is nice. Look at this. 3 damage. And then I give him 2 Curses in their deck. Okay. Are you counting the extra damage for him being poisoned? He hasn't been poisoned yet. Oh, okay. Then poisoned. Okay. Then wounded. Wounded. Poisoned. Then stunned. Does stun work on him? No. Okay. Well, Unfortunately. It's too bad stun him. doesn't work on him. And then this and this are infused? Yep. And I'm up to 11. Curses XP. into their deck? Curses need to be shuffled in. It's two of them. It's awesome. So when he heals, do both of those come off? Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. But I'm hoping to at least get to heal him first. And he's going to take one damage at the start of the turn before he heals. Nice. So, I know. Okay. Yeah. He was going to heal the next round, if not this round. Yeah. So. so it's my turn, right? Yes. I was thinking stunning him, he wouldn't okay. heal, but I'd miss that he's immune to stun. Well, first we will do this, this little attack at the bottom where they normally have a move. I mm -hmm. like that I have attacks for moves. And it's an attack 2 plus 1, so that's 3. Plus one for him being poisoned. So four, can I have threes? Here's some threes. 
Okay, he has one health left. He's and dead. Then... We won. Oh yeah, he's gonna die on his turn. Can I hit him at least? Come on. Oh, well, you can. He dies on his turn. And then... See, that worked. The wound. Hit a Zila just to heal him. No. No? No, why not? I'll we'll attack him three. Plus one is four. And... Bloosh! Bladoosh. Oh, and I already went, so I can't even go collect the loot. Alright. That was awesome. That was not nearly... We did so much better than last time. Oh, uh, yeah. The Zealots still have to go, unfortunately. I don't learn anything from that. See, I, I'm glad I, I, I used my two burn. Very little oh, I got 11 XP just yeah, from XP. Just from uh, cards. Anyway, we still have to finish. I know. Like, as Let's long as we, we're not going to get exhausted here. I don't so. think we're going to die here, no. Alright, so they're moving zero, attacking zero. So this guy's going to attack me at three. Make that four. So I take four damage. I did not get my goal, unfortunately. Did you get your goal? I think so. And then this one's going to move up and attack you. And misses because of... Uh, it's not even... Yeah, it's a monster. Curse, due to my curses. And that's it. Done. Da, 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 da. Boss dead. Yeah. You couldn't move awesome. on your turn after you killed the guy and grabbed the coin? No, because oh, your I bottom used, was an attack. My bottom was an attack. That was All the right. whole point. That's how I had two attacks. I even talked about that it was a bottom attack and how I liked that I had bottom attacks. Alright, now what are we doing? Are we moving the camera to do the city event or are we well, just doing the city event you here? You want to hear the conclusion? Yeah, let's do the conclusion stuff? and all that. So, but again, we could read that with people seeing us. I just don't know what's better. The pulsing of the tumor slows and then stops altogether. It is ruined, hacked up and marred beyond all recognition. The only logical thing to do is burn the remains so that it can never plague the city again. You exit the abandoned warehouse in fairly high spirits. It is done. There is one tumor left to destroy, and then hopefully the rest of these robed madmen will leave the city alone. But then you see it across the bay. The other tumor's location in the sinking market goes up in a massive column of fire. The blast wave hits you moments later and you are knocked onto the cobblestone streets. You were too late, and the explosion is surely only the beginning. You need to make your way to the sinking market as fast as you can and stop whatever is coming next. Okay, so you get 20 experience each. Wow. Okay. You have the pencils. I do. So they really wanted you to level up at this point, obviously, <laughs> which I got there ahead of time, but. Okay. Um, now, closed location, sunken tumor number seven is no longer oh, available. Oh, we can't go to sunken tumor number seven. New location, explosive evolution at number nine. So we have no branch. We have no more branch, so no one gets to pick where to, to go. Next time. So we're going to nine, so where's the map? We might as well do it. We'll do it right here in camera. I don't know. No, no, I'm just looking. It and the stickers we should have somewhere. Right here. And the stickers. So we also need a marker to mark off we can't do the other path. I bet you if we went the other way, it would this one would explode. Probably. So he hidden tumor is done with a check mark. And, and then the sunken tumor kind of can't be done. Right and we are adding nine. We're adding number nine. Oh, you know what? It's probably... Yeah, look. There's two explosions. Hmm. Spoilers. And I bet you it's going right over top. Of the last sticker? Because that's neat. This one has stickers that cover over other stickers. and. Where does it go? I think that's neat. Uh, it says D2? Yeah. No. New location, explosive evolution, D2. Yeah. Yeah, I just can't figure how this is turned. Like Close all... location, sunken tumor, D2. Oh, they're both the same. There's two nines. I grabbed the wrong nine. Depend yeah, see, I grabbed the wrong nine. I stink. I didn't notice where two nines. Oh, because there's one for each grab location. Grab the right nine. Interesting. Okay. Because the sticker, I'm like, this sticker doesn't match at all. The building exploded and also changed considerably. The weird part is the explosion doesn't really. It looks like a wing. Oh, it's a weird graphic. But yeah, stickers over stickers is definitely something that this version of the game is doing.
so I think I got my shark. It was a weird one. And each of your turns adjacent to a wall or obstacle. Who and I several times when watching. you were, well, yeah, but several times when you're like, can I push you to this spot? I went, no, 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 don't do that. I like where I am right now. Or don't put me over here because I wanted to stay adjacent to the wall. So I think I remember to do it for the whole. And even when so I backed up, go. I was next to this obstacle we here. Gotta, we got to show that off for you. See it? There we so go. So I think I got it right. We have the new exploded area. It, it actually easy. literally overlapped the old sticker, which is really cool. So next week, we will be doing number nine, Explosive Evolution. It was an easy map for that. What's amusing is number nine would be the same, so the inside of the warehouse is not like identical. All right, we also then return to Gloomhaven and do a city event. So we are about to do this city event. If you can just read that out loud for us, please. <laughs> You're walking through the coin district when a woman in green with thick goggles springs from a nearby window and bowls over. Coins and expensive trinkets scatter as they spill from the robber's pockets. She brushes herself off and notices two guards peering down the alley, their attention drawn by the commotion. <laughs> that was a good one, she laughs dramatically and claps you on the back, making a show of it for the guards. She winces as someone shrieks, Thief! Thief! from the window. The guards break into a run towards you and the woman mutters, Follow my lead and we'll all get out of this. Otherwise we're all getting sent to the coast fortress. Get it? Turn her over to the guards or let her th let the thief work her charms. I'm thinking turn her over to the guards. No, I was thinking I don't care either way. Yeah, you don't it's care? It's not bothering me. It's not bothering you? Hmm. But you go either way. This is, uh, see, we should have the vote thing on. We should have the we vote We should let thing the on. chat vote what this. What does the but chat But I can't think? turn it on. I can't turn it on we'll from here a, because we we'll lost our like screen. 15 seconds to tell us. I'm going to look real quick. I don't think I even have the scene to do the over. Yeah, but they could say something in words. No, there's no way to put it on. So yes, do we list, do we turn the thief over, or do we play along? We only have four viewers right now. So. I think we should turn her over. I'm good either way. Our chat room isn't actually room has no sitting opinion. at their keyboards. Nope. They've all fallen asleep. Yeah, as soon they, as we won, they left. They they left. left. That's what I think happened. We, we were up to it, like 12 viewers. We won. All right, we're going to turn her over. Deanna had a preference. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, someone else says turn her over. So You, you picked the wrong thing completely. I picked the wrong thing. You oh. suck. Oh, well. <laughs> you point to the thief and open your mouth, but she beats you to the punch. They did it! They jumped out of that window and nearly trampled me to death. She clutches stolen pearls around her neck. Please, guards, arrest them! The guards ignore your confused protest and put you in iron cuffs. By the time they turn around to further question or witness, they're gone. After that, it takes a little extra grease before you drive them and let them go. We lose five gold. That's your fault. Lose five collective gold. That's uh -huh. all on you. It's all on me. It's all on you. I'll lose five gold. I have two gold here. Gold for this scenario is worth... I don't know. i got to look it up. It's level two scenario. We're level two now. So I, need the, I need the glossary book. The glossary book. There you go. Oh, our last viewers are just lagging. Oh, well. This is not the so book I need, I, just, I don't think. Well, that was glossary. Book. No, I need the other one. I, I'm sure it's in here. I just yeah. don't know where. I know it's in there at the last part of the book. Oh, here I found it. You found it? Level. Cool. Scenario level two gold is worth three each. So I get six gold. We get eight XP. Did you take my pencil? No. There's only one. One of the oh. kids made off with the other one. All right. So. so, three gold gets me to six and eight more XP. Here, let me have that for a second. Eight more XP is what I need. To what do you want? Pencil. Well, I haven't finished, but oh, sure. Oh, you were done. No. So the higher difficulty. See, yeah, to level up. I figured it was probably set that the twenty XP would give you a level no one, matter what. One with both. They're definitely trying to stagger things at a reasonable rate in this yeah. edition. I do got to say, if you are interested in getting into Gloomhaven, just buy this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Skip the original game. If you play through all this and still feel you need more. Oh, the original, the original. there's nothing wrong with the original game. Just play the this. The price. 
Well, that's the problem with the original the investment, we right? Get more out of it, though. Like, it well, first play this sense. if first you're not sick this. of Gloomhaven by that point. Yep. Because you might be. You might that's be like, I've true. had enough of this. Like, I'm all gloomed out. Does that happen? 123. Yeah, I'm not leveling up anytime soon. Good. I did not get my perk. My, my goal was to loot a treasure tile from a monster I killed in the same turn. Mm. And I was so close on this guy. I had to, but I had to use my loot card on the same time I used an attack the on the I top. The threw away was interesting. It was. Did you give yourself your perk? No. So do that. I should. Do that. Um, Before you forget, we'll move the camera and, and I clean actually, up. Actually, I have three little check marks now. So yes, I you pick a perk. Or, so we were going to let people know what perk, perk you got. And I'm going to level up. It's going to be super exciting. So there were four more curses still in the monster deck that never came out. I'm going to remove two negative one cards. Yeah, I That's feel like I need to do that. Let's do that to the deck right now. Yeah, do that now. Here's the monster curse deck. There were still four in there. I was hoping the curses would stop the cultists from hitting yeah, us. It gave us the XP we needed. Monster attack modifier deck. I need is you have the chaos team and stuff up there. Do you have the chaos team and tracker? I don't know. Probably. Alright, welcome back, or hello again, or if you're jumping to our final thoughts, which we haven't actually been putting timestamps in the YouTube videos Maybe for our final thoughts, but we should be doing that. Um, that is it. We have completed the Hidden Tumor, Scenario 8 of Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion. Again, I am Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, and this is my wife, Deanna, online known as NG Game. Find me everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Um... That was scenario eight. We failed this once and just played badly last time. Like, I think that's all it was. Oh, Seeing no. it this time. I know I played badly last yeah. time. I told you at the time that I made poor choices. And Gloomhaven's an unforgiving game. If you make a couple of poor choices, yeah. you're you're not going to recover from that. So one of the lessons we learned last week is Gloomhaven draws the line does not necessarily mean easy. Um, I will admit, the first five scenarios, the intro scenarios, are pretty, pretty easy. Especially if you know what you're doing in Gloomhaven. But once we got to, this is the second scenario after the tutorials this was a huge ramp up in difficulty i think and well we made some mistakes this time we played very conservatively probably too conservatively but it worked, it worked. I, I think i think we were a little 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 slower in moving than we should have been but you know what we won so i don't care um i gotta say that this boss is so difficult because what happens with this boss is that anything that hits anything and damages anything but it heals it so if any enemies attack you you get it gets healed if you attack any enemies other than it, it gets healed. And if it gets healed all the way, you lose. Yeah, it's it not gets... even like you could just, I'm going to ignore the fact we're healing the boss and go take out all the other yes. guys and, and then focus on it. You're like, no, because then you would lose. Though I don't know, I still think we might be able to take one or two of them out. Like, hit it a couple times, then go kill them, then go back. But you know what, this worked, so... I'm, I I'm was running out of cards, so drawing yeah. it out further was... Well, that was because we took so long to get the character. Well, that's what I'm saying, but so drawing it out further at that yeah. end could have been titchy. That's... Yeah, it's interesting. Shields are big, right? Use shields, uh, wound and poison, the heart. Those are our big strategy tips, I, have I think. I stuff that would do damage if they touched me or came in close to me that I had to make sure not to turn on. Yeah. And you would think you would want to save that stuff yeah, for a no boss fight, Yeah, no retaliate for this boss fight. No retaliate for this boss fight. Um, other than that, I dig it. This is an interesting scenario. Um, what else was needed in this is a big S-like path on the map, which people who watched earlier could see, of obstacles. Which, man, if I had thrown the 3D obstacles on this, you would have really got to see it. Mm -hmm. But we've been trying to stick to with our Jaws and the Lion. We try to, I tried to just use the book. But, man, if we had thrown some bookshelves, you got bookshelves, you got barrels, crates. I don't even think I own enough bookshelves to have, no, I don't. I don't own enough bookshelves to have filled this room. It would have looked really cool. Um, I don't think there's anything else we need to cover this time. So no decision point next time. Um, I do want to thank everyone who joined us live on Twitch. We stream Gloomhaven Friday nights, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's New York, Toronto time. Um, we are currently playing through Jaws of the Lion 2 player. Uh, at some point, if um, the worldwide pandemic ever dies down and things return to normal, we'll go back to the real Gloomhaven uh, with a four-player party. Be fun. Sorry, I thought you had something you wanted to say. No. Um, also on Twitch, on Wednesday nights, we also stream. That's at 9 p.m., still Eastern Time. And that's when we record the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. That is a, a podcast where we answer your gaming and game night questions. People send in questions via the website, via email, and we answer them as part of our 
podcast. We also review a couple games and then talk about the games we played in the week previous, cons we've attended, stuff like that. You can find that on pretty much every podcasting service out there. Uh, Google, Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, all of those. Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. And watch us record live. Twitch.tv slash Tabletop Bellhop. Finally, I just want to point everyone to our webpage, TabletopBellhop.com. It's probably the first place I should have sent you because there's links to all this other stuff there. You can find actual plays like this, unboxing videos, reviews, and answers to your questions. If you do have a question for me, you can send that to questions at TabletopBellhop.com or on TabletopBellhop.com. Click on Ask the Bellhop and fill out the web form. Finally, we've been doing a lot of improvements to our streams. I personally think it's looking a lot better. I would love to hear your feedback. Again, questions at tabletopbellhop.com works or mo at tabletopbellhop.com. And we would love to continue to improve things. And the best way you can do that to help us do that would be to head to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. And please consider tipping your bellhop. For Tabletop Bellhop, this has been another live stream and actual play of Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion, on the Bellhop's tabletop. I am Motuzno, the tabletop bellhop. And I'm Deanna. Good night and game on.